Good morning, mahal. Good morning, mahal. Hmm. All right. So, ano na pala natin, no? This is our last video for this season. Yep. So, gagawin natin today. Um, Wrapping up. Since we'll, we've discussed or we, we've shared to them about the five languages, let's give them a scenario para they can fully grasp and how to manage each other's love language. So, okay. a few examples lang. And then... We did um, the Yeah, alright. So, the concept kasi of love language, which was introduced by Dr. Gary Chapman, it suggests that individuals express and receive love in different ways. So, ano nga ba yung iba't ibang five languages, no? So, these are the words of affirmation, acts of service, receiving gifts, quality time, and physical touch. So, let's give them examples on how couples with different love language navigate their relationships. So, let's start with the words of affirmation and acts of service. So, yung scenario, si Marie, she values verbal expressions of love. While si Bian naman feels most love when actions speak louder than words. So, to navigate that, Marie might learn to appreciate Bian's efforts in helping around the house or doing thoughtful things for him. Kasi nga, acts of service si Bian ne. Eh. So, si Bian naman can make an effort to express his feelings verbally, acknowledging naman yung ginagawang help ni Marie para to fill in Marie's needs for affirmations. So, another scenario, if they have a conflict naman. So, Marie, whose love language is words of affirmation, feels hurt because si Bien, whose love language is acts of service, didn't verbally express appreciation for something she did. So, tumulong siya around the house, pero Bien failed to acknowledge it verbally. So, to solve that, Bien can acknowledge Marie's need for verbal affirmation by expressing gratitude or praise. Then in return, Marie can also recognize Bien's acts of service as his way of showing love and appreciate those gestures. So, yan. So, how about naman if yung isa is <clears throat> words of affirmation and receiving gifts or physical touch naman yung kabala. Kasi, these are two conflicting ano kasi, um, love language. Kasi, pag sinabi natin words of affirmation, puro salita sila, yung expression. While those naman sa acts of service, receiving gifts or physical touch, meron silang binibigay na um, tangible na nakikita natin. So, a scenario Ito si Sarah, which has words of affirmation as love language, might start the day by surprising si Chris with a small thoughtful gift like um, gawa niya ng favorite coffee niya or magbigay ba siya ng note expressing her love or incorporating hugs or holding hands. While si Chris naman can start by expressing love and compliments to Sarah, highlighting specific qualities na he appreciates. Now, how about yung argument about prioriza- prioritizing time? Now, Sarah can express her feelings by offering a small gift like a favorite snack to show na she cares and values Chris' time naman. Now, si Chris can also reassure Sarah verbally, emphasizing his love and appreciation for the relationship while also setting expectations about time management. So, kumbaga, Sarah, as uh, with love language or words of affirmation, expresses her feelings through kung ano yung love language ni Chris, which is receiving gifts and physical touch. So, yung ginawa niya, nagbigay siya ng gift, like nagbigay siya ng favorite, nagumawa siya ng favorite snack, and then, nagbigay din siya ng um, konting physical touch or a simple hug or a simple hold ng kamay to show Chris naman that 
she values his time. So, paano naman pag quality time yung pinag-uusapan? And yung isa naman is uh, words of affirmation. So, si, ang scenario, si Jamie, she values verbal affirmations and Morgan feels love when they spend quality time together. Now, Morgan can express the love through words during their quality time. So, nagbibigay siya ng mga positive affirmations and saying, I love you, while they are having their quality time. Now, Jamie, in turn also, can create opportunities for quality time and make sure na Morgan feels appreciated through both time and verbal expressions. So, since um, Morgan has quality time as love language niya, para mapunan yung need niya for that time together, ang ginawa ni Jamie, she planned uh, opportunities na magkaroon sila ng quality time para ma-feel naman din ni Morgan and ma-appreciate yung um, time nila together. So, yun. How about kung may conflict? Now, Morgan is frustrated kasi ito si Jamie, hindi niya nabigyan ng verbal reassurance during disagreement nila. So, to solve that one, Jamie can express love through words while spending quality time while reassuring Morgan verbally during discussions. So, Morgan can also appreciate both the words and the time na binigay ni Jamie. Then, it can resolve the conflict. Mas madali ma-resolve yung conflict if you are speaking each other's love language. Hindi nyo ini-insist mo yung anong tingin mo, eh tama using your love language. So, yan. And, paano naman pag receiving gifts and acts of service, no? So, si Nell expresses love by doing things for her partner. While Ren naman appreciates thoughtful gifts. So, to manage their daily lives, si Nell can put extra effort into finding meaningful gifts for Ren while understanding that ito ay gesture of love for them. So, si Ren naman on the other hand can show appreciation for Nell's acts of service by acknowledging and thanking her for the efforts she put into making their lives easier. So, nagko-conflict lang siya if, if si Nell na with acts of service as love language, hindi siya na-appreciate ni Ren and hindi na-acknowledge yung task na na-complete. So, by doing this, so, pwedeng ang gawin ni Ren is i-express niya yung gratitude by um, showing appreciation dun kay Nell and um, helping her out dun sa mga gawain bahay ba, ganyan. So, it somehow speaking her language can really solve the conflict at hand. So, parang ganyan lang yun. So, to um, make it simpler dun sa mga scenario, ang nakikita lang natin is um, whatever the language of your partner is, to make her feel love every day, you speak her language. And to solve the conflict then, pag alam mo yung love language ng partner mo, that's how you will solve also the conflict. Mas madaling mapag-usapan if you speak each other's language, not insisting on your own love language to them kasi hindi talaga kayo magkakaintindihan and there will be miscommunication and gap so yan so the key in all these scenarios in com- is communication talaga and understanding so couples with different love language can successfully navigate it if they openly discuss their needs so, nabanggit natin in our previous videos that it is important to communicate not just your boundaries, but ito din, your needs uh, such as your 
language of love. So, learning about each other's preferences and making intentional efforts to meet those needs in a way that resonates naman with their partner. So, yan. How about you, um, Mahal? So, uh, it's very important to know that individuals may have their primary and secondary love language. And they may appreciate a combination of this expression from understanding, speaking your partner's love language, kahit sinabi mo, can foster a deeper connection and enhance the overall quality of a relationship. Yan. And, um... To summarize all the videos that we've shared during season one, we all navigate the intricate web of relationship complexities, which requires a delicate balance of setting and communicating boundaries effectively. It also requires addressing issues like gaslighting, which can undermine trust. Parenthood adds another layer. It encompasses the challenges of parenting through generations, handling elderly parents' demands, and determining the last day at home, which adds up to the relationship dynamics. So, balancing the role of a breadwinner brings financial considerations into play, which questions the necessity of financial capability in man. Juxtaposed with the challenges of financial debt and non-financial debt, individuals grapple with toxic positivity. Moreover, the importance of voting wisely is underscored in a society witnessing the rise of mental health awareness, prompting the need for a social media detox. Throughout these diverse aspects of life, coping with heartbreak, managing anger, combating self-entitlement, all contributed to personal growth. And the rise of mental health awareness underscores the importance of self-care, which include yung nabanggit natin kanina, yung social media detox, in an area dominated by virtual connections. Now, challenges such as flirting, jealousy, and cheating must be confronted in relationships. Now, while long-distance relationships among OFW presents unique hurdles, it can easily be tackled and address as we communicate effectively and trying to understand our partner's needs such as the love languages we discussed a while back so in this intricate tapestry of human experience we hope that as we end the season the topics we shared with you collectively contributes to the holistic understanding and enhancement of your relationships financial well-being and mental health we hope that the previous season has contributed to the promotion of your well-being as well as how you interact with your relationships with other people and your loved ones. Yan. So, thank you very much to the 92 subscribers who have been with us. In during our uh, podcast, and we really do appreciate uh, your undying support. Uh, if you make comments, please us, you criticism. We thank you very, very much. As this season end with a sad goodbye, but we thank you very much for all the patience, for all the care, the love that you shared to us and we really do appreciate that and uh, we hope na we've shared something senior during the times that we had our our podcast and me and my wife we, we are really really thankful for this opportunity that you've given us this season as it end thank you thank you very much and our recording, our uh, what do you call this? Um, podcast officially now. ends now, <laughs> and officially ends now. And thank you, thank you very much, all the Sausaweros, um, the Cabogueras, the Armados, and, uh, the Armados, uh, our classmates well, with Teacher yeah, Mark, our classmates with Teacher Mark, 
Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And see you next season. We're live. Yeah. So. We're not going record. Yeah, we're going on live, and we're then live, so. um, hope to see you there in the chat room, and uh, and we look forward then. on interacting with you yes. and interacting with our guests, and. Uh, um, we assure you, mas marami pa kayong matutunan and we will uh, give our all in making sure that um, each and every episode we've imparted something and we always put a smile in your face before the live yep. ends. So, may baon talaga kayo us. every time the live ends. You can join us. You can participate in our discussion. Though it's an early morning discussion, I hope... Uh, Let's fill the morning with uh, yeah, positivity we, and energy. Yeah, we start we, the morning with positivity and guides the day through productivity. Alanya, tapos na kami. Tapos ng season. Yeah. Yeah, and who knows what the we next just, season we just holds? End our, our recording. Yeah. Right. So our thank you, everyone. So the real battle will begin. Ah, uh, real battle talaga, no? So, thanks again Thank for joining man. Mornings with Vince and Ira recording. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we welcome you next, uh, next mm-hmm. season 2. And see you all going, in season 2. I don't know if we're going to do it on a daily basis or it depends upon our availability. Since yeah, and the availability of, of our yeah, and guests. Yes, yeah. And our guests, but um, we'll try best to. So, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the so notification bell, notified. so you will be notified kung live pa kami. So you can join us, naman. So stay tuned for our incoming live sessions with mornings with Vince and Ira, and don't forget to always put God first in everything that you do free and may god bless you and your whole family always have a wonderful morning stay safe and god bless bye see you next season bye